everybody. Welcome back to home recording made easy.com. And here on my YouTube channel in this time out, we're going to take a look at a very cool plugin by IK multimedia. This is the T-Rack studio reverb, the fame plugin, which is the emulation of the famous muscle shoals studios. We're going to listen to this on some drums and some guitar and some keyboards and kind of give you my thoughts, but it's a great, great plugin. I love what they're doing. This, uh, I came multimedia with these studio emulations. It's great. So we're going to listen to that today and then you can go check it out because the links will be in the description box below. But before we get to that, if you like what you see in the video, please consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, blah, blah, blah. You know all about that. But if this is your first time here, I want you to go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com because I want to give you a free mixing course. It's right on the homepage, big orange button. You can't miss it. Download your course today. It's worth a hundred bucks. It's my gift to you just for visiting homerecordingmadeeasy.com. And if you really like the craft of mixing and you want to learn how to mix in a very non-technical way and you want to make your own productions sound like professional mixes, check out what I have going on at mixingmadeeasy.net. All the links will be in the description box below. So let's get here into Studio One and let's check out this IK Multimedia Fame Studio Reverb plugin. Huh, that's a mouthful. Now, about a year before this came out, they put out the IK Multimedia Sunset Sound, Sunset Sound Studio emulation plugin as well. I have a review on that. You can check the playlist, the IK Multimedia plugin review playlist. It's in there. It's a fantastic plugin. They followed it up with this one called Fame, and this is another fantastic plugin. I love it. I use it all the time, and I actually like this a little bit better than Sunset Sound, but that's just me. Basically what it is, it is an emulation of all the different rooms, chambers, and vocal isolation booths at the famous Muscle Soul Studios. So you can have your recording sound like they were recorded in these multi-million dollar studios. Same thing with the Sunset Sound. Now, before those two plugins became available for years, one of the first ones on the market to make a plugin like this, which I used for years, I endorsed for years, and I turned all of my uh, YouTube followers onto it, was a plugin by Universal Audio called the Ocean Way, which is an emulation of the Ocean Way Studios. That was fantastic. I used it all the time, but there were two problems with that plugin. One, you had to have Universal Audio hardware to use it. And two, even if you did, it was a $400 plugin, which was extremely expensive, but there was nothing else on the market that sounded anything like it. Even though they call it a reverb, it's different than a regular reverb. And this plugin is not like a regular reverb. This is a room emulation. It's different sounding, okay? Since Ocean Way came, came and gone, it's still out there and it's still a great plugin, but then IK Multimedia put out Sunset Sound and now this uh, Fame. And these are, our these are half the price of that plugin and you don't need any special hardware to run it. And they're, I think they sound better. There's more options than what was in Ocean Way. So that's what turned me on to the Sunset Sound. This is great too. Let's walk through this plugin quickly and then let me let you listen to it. So basically what you have here is you have a big input knob and an output knob here on the front here. Nice, nice old school vintage from like a universal audio console. The big black knobs, military grade stuff. It's really great. You can use this in mono or stereo. You have a modern flavor and a vintage flavor. Okay, next to that you have the GUI where it shows you the different rooms inside of Muscle Shoals Studios, Fame Studios. Okay, here's Studio Live A. If you click with your left mouse button and take your cursor, you have a 360 degree view of the actual room which is really cool. So here is Studio A, here's what it looks like. There's a couple of keyboards, looks like a B3, grand piano, blah, blah, blah. If you click on this, you have a drop down, and you can check out the different things that they've modeled. We have a plate, their plate, okay, that they have there. They have their chamber, which is really cool. They have their Studio A ISO boots, which is here. And again, you can drag this around and you can look at the ISO booth, isn't that kind of neat? Look at that. And then they have Studio Live, Studio A Live, the live room that we just looked at. They have Studio B, those isolation booths. And again, you can drag that around, kind of a vibey, flake, vibey color to it, kind of nice. And then the B live room. So you have two live rooms in this studio, in the Fame Studios, A and B. Okay, and they're both are going to sound a little bit different. Some are going to sound more lively if or another. And again, if you go on YouTube, you can actually see the tour of these studios and it looks just like this. So they've modeled every one of these individual spaces, which is really cool. In the center, we have our, what they call the source position based on 
the studio or the ISO booth that you have chosen. So for example, if we go back to Studio Live A, you'll see we have bass, drums, uh, keyboards, um, vocal singers, and piano. And you can move this to selector switch. And what this, the, this does is this emulates what that section of the room sounds like that that instrument has been placed. So for example, drums. Wherever drums were placed in this room, it's going to sound a little bit different in the drum part of the room where they would typically find the sweet spot where drums sound great, as opposed to, let's say, the piano or the keyboards, which looks like it's over here near this grand piano. The drums might be on the opposite side of the room, so it's going to sound a little different. So it gives you a little bit of tonal options of how you want your instrument to sound. You don't have to stick to, well, if it's drums, it has to be on the drum preset. No, it doesn't. It could be on anything. You can experiment. The only thing I will say about this that I don't like is when you move the sing, when you move the source position switch, you don't see, for example, the drums or the bass in the room. They don't show you where it's positioned. The only thing you see are the keyboards that, that are that kind of live there permanently. They don't move those around, but where's the drum kit? I have no idea in this room where the drums where the drums would be physically positioned, or if the vocals or a bunch of background singers were singing. Where would they be in this room? I don't know. It'd been nice to have that. Um, that's what you do get in the Universal Audio Ocean Way plugin. You see a, a, a graphic of it of where it was positioned in the room. It's not as nice as this. It's kind of primitive looking. It's kind of you know kind of old school looking, but it's there. This doesn't have that. But that's what the source position switch does. Then underneath that, depending on what studio you pick, you have like in live, you have a, a, a broad uh, width and a focused. Broad means it's going to spread out and sound a little bit wider. Focus, it's going to be a little bit more narrow. Then you have pre-delay controls, decay controls, and you have some EQ controls down here. To the right of this, you have the monos that you can, if it's mono, the mono uh, source here, you have the wet, dry uh, for left, right or the wet control for um, for the left and the right if you're using stereo, which we are in this case. And then you have a wet dry thing here that you can blend in some of the dry signal in if you wanted to blend it in. You can solo up any one of those things. You can pan any of those things. So it gives you a lot of um, options. Let's say that. So let me show you what I have here. Here's a drum bus. This is on drums. We have a kick, snare, toms, overhead, no EQ, no compression, no nothing, and we're using it as a send. Let me just close this for a second. We're sending our drums with our percussion tracks, kick, snare, toms, overheads, percussion, over to the sun, oh, it's not sunset sound, to the over to the Fame plugin. And here's what it sounds like. So we're using it like a typical send. We turn this down a little, here it goes. So there's Studio Live A on the vocal, in the source position is on the vocal singer section. I'm gonna keep it on Studio Live A. We're gonna change the source position just so you can see what it does to the sound of this room. And I'm exaggerating it, it's a little too much. I'll dial it back, but I really want you to hear it. So you can hear how the top end, really the upper mids and the, and the highs, the room gets a little bit brighter sounding as you go from left to right. A little bit more dead in the bass and the drum area and as you move to the right side and turn that clockwise, it gets a little bit more open. So again, you have some options. If we go back to drums, because this is drums, this is kind of where they've maybe determined is kind of where m the sweet spot of where most of their drum kits are recorded in this particular space. Let's check out the broad and the focused buttons. <laughs> So you can hear how it spreads out. Let's check out if we wanted to bring in some of the dry signal here. You could solo it up. So that might be handy if you're using this as an insert as opposed to a send, but on a send we can just use the fader and kind of turn it down.
That's without it. Pretty cool. Let's go to Studio Live B. Let's, I'll flip back and forth between Studio B and Studio A, just so you could hear the difference of what it sounds like. Um, and again, the source position is still on drums in both sections, but just to give you a feel for the different rooms, here, here's Studio Live A, and again, I'll turn it up and exaggerate it so you can really hear it. Very different sounds. Okay, so very different sounding rooms, which is great. So there's a lot of flexibility, a lot of control here to make it sound just the way you want. Now, typically I would use this in a much more subtle way so it's not so obvious. So it sounds like it was recorded in a room. Okay. So now let's listen to this on maybe some guitars. Here's like an acoustic guitar thing. I'll just solo this up so you could hear it. So here's a here's in one of the booths. So here's a Studio B booth, and I'll kind of cycle it around. So when you choose the booth, they have a vocals or an amp section, like if you were an amp source position if you're putting like a guitar amp or something in there. You may want to put an acoustic guitar in there, you may not. Let's go to the Studio A booth just to see what that sounds like. So again, um, they have a few more, another position here. So this is actually probably a little bit of a larger room that they actually maybe record small, small drum kits in there. So there you go. So you have lot of different flavors. Now we could put that out in the live room as well. Which is kind of cool. So kind of out in the live room. Now we could even put that in the same live room as the drums. Okay, so there you get the idea. So now that we have guitar, let's do it on a piano as well, just so we could hear what this all sound. Let me get rid of all these mutes here. What am I doing here? Let's uh, go to piano, uh, keyboard serials, isn't that? Okay, now let's bring up our fame, fame here. Now here's a plate. Here's a nice little plate, which is kind of cool. And when you choose the plate, you can choose the different time of the plate. If you wanted a super long plate, maybe something like a second or so, second and a half. It could be kind of nice for, for uh, instruments like piano or vocals might be cool. We can also choose the live room and put it on the, on the, uh, on the, on the keyboard uh, position. which is kind of cool, right? 
And now if you put them all together, what do you kind of have? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. So let's add our, our base in here too, which doesn't have anything on it here, but let's just see. And then we can highlight all these three and we can do kind of an accumulative effect and we can just mute them all, right? We can mute them, take them away and bring them in. Let's just see what it sounds like. So it just sounds really, really great. I use this plugin all the time. You can, you know, anything that was recorded, let's say in a home studio, in a bedroom, in a basement, you know, with like drums or whatnot, a really tight, dry room, and you want to give it more of that professional live sound, this is fantastic. Uh, it's different than using just a typical reverb, although they call it a studio reverb because you do have a plate in there and you do have some chambers in there and there, you know, you have that stuff. But it really, to me, should be called the studio emulation plugin, not studio reverb. Although I know that's what it is in parts and you're getting the reverb, the natural reverb from the live rooms, I get it. But to me, this is a really great plugin to be able to use that if you have, you know, drums and, you know, bass and guitar and keys and vocals, you could put five instances of this across your mix and put all of your instrumentations into the same space or into the same studios to get that kind of flavor like the tracks were really recorded in a really top-notch studio with rooms that sound fantastic and you can you know get crazy with it and use it as much or as little as you want i typically use these things more on the subtle side so they're not so obvious and you don't hear them you feel them more than you hear them but i use this all the time this is a great great plugin and i also recommend you check out their sunset sound although that sounds a little different it's a different studio but a lot of the same features a lot of the same things they have live rooms and vocal booths and uh, isolation rooms and chambers and plates, I believe. I don't know if they have a chamber in Sunset Sound, but I know they have a plate. And I think they even have a spring tank, a spring reverb tank, which is really, really cool. And I think there's three live rooms in the Sunset Sound, where in this one there's only two, because the studio only has two. Sunset Sound does have three studios in it. And so that's why it is like that. And in the future, my guess would be they're probably going to model some of these other studios. And this is great. So you get that professional studio sound with home recorded tracks, which is fantastic. So I recommend that you check this out. This is not a sponsored video. I bought this with my own money. I do have a relationship with IK Multimedia on some of their plugins. Um, this one I did pay for before that relationship started. So they didn't give this to me for free, but I think it's a great plugin. And I have uh, other plugin reviews by IK Multimedia in the IK Multimedia playlist. So check it out. You can check the link in the description box if you wanna go check this thing out. It does go on sale from time to time throughout the year. I think uh, regular price, I want to say, is $199 for this or $149. It's worth every bit of $200 or $150, bucks, absolutely for sure. You could have just this one plugin and not any need anything else except for maybe a generic reverb maybe to add on top of this if you needed to on certain instances or certain kinds of tracks. And I think you have all the reverb and stuff that you need. So I want to thank you so much for taking a listen to the IK Multimedia fame. Now, as I said in the beginning video, beginning of the video, I want to give you something else for free for sticking around to the end of the video. So if this is your first time here, or if it's not your first time here and you've been to homerecordingmadeeasy.com before, go back. If you didn't get your free mixing course, get it. It's right on the homepage. It's my gift to you, again, just for visiting Home Recording Made Easy. If you already have that course and you've already taken it and you like it and you dig my style of teaching and I've helped you with that course, and I promise you, if you take the course, you're going to get a lot out of that course. It's not a little throwaway course. It's a fully featured $97 course. You're going to get a lot out of it. But if you want to take some more of my paid training, I want to give you a discount for taking a look at any of the other training courses on my website. And I have an entire online school recording, mixing, mastering, EQ compression, parallel compression, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Here's the coupon code so you could save 25% on any training course. It is YouTube25. Put that in at checkout. It'll take 25% off 
any one of the training courses on the website. And as I said earlier, if you're really into the craft of mixing and you want to get better at mixing, where we use plugins like the IK Multimedia Fame and other third-party plugins, as well as stock plugins and all different DAWs, and you want to get good at mixing all different styles of music and you want to develop your ears so you can make your home productions sound like professional mixes, check out MixingMadeEasy.net. The link is in the description box below. It is the best investment that you will ever make in learning how to be better at the craft of mixing. I guarantee it. Check out MixingMadeEasy.net today. And until the next video, I've been Dave with HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and MixingMadeEasy.net. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, everybody.